This is North Dakota Today. Hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining us right here on North Dakota Today. My name is Ashlyn Hill. And I'm Jillian Trudeau. What a week. It, it <laughs> <laughs> We're like two days into it. What it's a Tuesday. week. It's Tuesday. Yeah. Um, it's slow. I mean, it's only Tuesday. I can't say much. And it's cold. It's cold. Winter's coming at us again this week. I'm tired. And this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what a week. It's, it's like that meme. It's that joke you see on Facebook. Wow, what a week. And it's Tuesday or Wednesday. <laughs> Honestly, well, I don't know, like Wednesday, at least you're like over that arch. You're just right. like, we're halfway through. Yeah, we're I can there. see the light Thursday. It's like, woohoo. And then Friday, Friday Eve. Yes. And then Friday is always the best. So Tuesday, I think is probably, well, Monday, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, today's pretty okay, though. Of course, we have an incredible show and we're so glad you could share mm -hmm. it with all of us here on the couch. But entertainment wise, yes. the Oscar nominations have appeared today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. And this is what we're learning. My husband, Austin Butler. <laughs> I love Austin Butler. He's the actor who starred in Elvis. He played Elvis himself. He is nominated for Best Actor from the Elvis film. He just won. What was the award show we just covered? The Golden Globes? Golden Globes, yes. yes. I was going to say, a lot of these a lot of these nominees, yep. are. You're gonna, it's like repeats from the yep. Golden Globes. Yeah, so. and this is why we say this makes it so much easier when you're choosing what films to watch. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. See the ones that are just repeatedly nominated, mm -hmm. repeatedly taking yep. home the trophies. Absolutely, yeah. And then all these actors and actresses, you can definitely tell that they're just popping off yeah. in, the, in the movie business. Like Austin so, Butler himself. Yeah, and absolutely. I feel like ever since I got this job, I've talked about Austin Butler. Elvis came out basically yeah. this year. And I, I was like, have you seen the movie? I watched it 17 times on HBO. <laughs> I think I've really only seen it three, but still it feels like 17. I've never seen it. It's so good. See okay. it, I will recommend. I okay. would recommend. Yeah, I think that that one, like Elvis probably was like Austin Butler's like top like that's like this is what's launching him yeah well, no one ever really on? knew who he was before okay that's what i was thinking I he was on a series called anything. carrie diaries which was a spin-off of sex that in the city is of right. carrie bradshaw I, that show. I never saw that but it wasn't big enough to where he was like a well-known name for right. me so now elvis is basically sending him into the stratosphere yep, check out the that. film if you have some time mm -hmm. it's very very good brendan fraser for the whale now he has been winning and getting nominated for this film uh the same route that we're talking about the golden globes okay. now the oscars mm -hmm. i don't know the other award ceremonies but we've been talking about him a lot too <laughs> so okay, i Fraser. actually that one doesn't even click in my head and have you <laughs> seen the whale absolutely not okay i don't think i've seen any other film besides elvis <laughs> yeah honestly i'm gonna have to <laughs> just i'm writing i'm writing i have a list uh colin farrell from the banshees of mm -hmm. inisherin that one sounds familiar golden globes yep paul mescal from after sun i feel like i'm the announcer <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, here are your nominees. <laughs> this is what's interesting, though, thank you. <laughs> Last year's winner for Best Actor was Will Smith. Yeah. Is this where he punched Chris Rock? Oh, my God, was it? Is yeah, it the Oscars? I think so, yeah. I remember watching it in real time. I stayed up really late in my old job with Local News Live with Great Television. Uh, my job was like the entertainment beat. So I got oh. to truly oh. watch all of these shows and live tweet and put together segments and talk about everything. So I was watching the Oscars in real time and Will Smith went on stage and slapped. He slapped Chris Rock. Oh, absolutely. It's more of a slap, guys, less of a punch. Oh, yeah. If you guys haven't seen it, it's an absolute like rock. Like he yep. gets his, oh my gosh. And then Chris goes back. Yeah, yep. that was insane. I do remember seeing that, not live. I bet right. that was crazy. But it was clipped, it was viral, yeah. and we're still talking about mm -hmm. it, obviously. Yeah, so. I saw a lot of TikToks. Obviously, the controversies came out where they're just like, oh, this was all like an act. Was it fake? Yeah. Was it rehearsed? Exactly. Was it planned? They're like, Chris would have been like passed out if he actually was slapped like that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It <laughs> seemed, it was very pretty. Nope, it was real. Yeah. And the rivalry, the feud still stands. I wonder if he'll be invited back. Is Will Smith allowed at the Oscars? <laughs> That's the Stay question tuned. I posed today. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's a good one. Okay, so yeah. Kate Blanchett nominated for Tar, Ana de Armas for Blonde, okay. Andrea Riseborough to Leslie, Michelle Williams, The Fablemans, these are all this year's nominees, 
Michelle Yeoh, actors. everything, everywhere, all at once. Yes, we've seen her at the Golden Globes. See, that movie is getting so much buzz. I know, and we haven't seen it. I know, it's just because it's so much money to rent right now. Is it? That's not even my excuse. I just haven't even sought out where to rent it. Oh, I definitely I have the means <laughs> and the free time. It's either on Amazon or Peacock. Okay. I want to say, I don't know. I have a lot of streaming services, but yeah. I'm cheap, so I will. Like, if it's over like that $5 mark. Not for you, huh? Not for me. I understand the prices have gone up. The prices, the inflation. Inflation, it's hitting everywhere. It's getting the eggs and the <laughs> streaming. <laughs> eggs. Yeah, so that was for Best Actress. Okay. Yep, we're uh, scrolling those are the through. Nominees for Best Actress. Uh, last year was Jessica Chastain. So she won for Best Actress. Yes. That was and then Best Supporting Actress was Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, yes. And Stephanie Sue from yeah. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. So. Once again. <laughs> We talk about the same three films and yeah. how they're nominated, mm -hmm. and we haven't really seen them, so we're going to have to just bite the bullet and have a watch party. I know. We're going to have to, actually. Mm -hmm. like, and prepare. All of these are just so, so new um, that I'm, I'm guessing that most of them aren't for, like, streaming. I, well, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you the last time I went to the movie theater. The last film I did rent was Where the Crawdads Sing. Mm. Remember, I talked about it yeah, because I rented yeah. it, paid the money to rent it, and then it went on Netflix like two days later. <laughs> yeah. This is not a joke. This is truly yeah. what happens to me when I rent things. So, mm -hmm. I think that um, the last movie I rented was Black Phone. That is that scary? It's kind of horror. See, Jillian movie. likes yep. horror films, I everybody. Love it. So if you're Super into good. spooky ooky stuff, give she's me some your recommendations. Girl. Yep, she's yeah. your girl. Love oh, it. this is what we really wanted to point out, though. This is mm -hmm. the big controversy, the big talking point. Mm -hmm. No women were nominated for Best Director. Yeah. So that's so, what everyone's talking and tweeting about currently. Yep. Yep. I got a push from uh, BuzzFeed this yep. morning, and they were just like, it's actually exhausting at this point. <laughs> so I had yep. to like go and look. So I was like, what are they talking about? Um, so two years uh, consecutively, the last two years, um, women have won the Best Director Oscar. And this year, there was absolutely no one in the nominee lineup. Oh. So that's what they're, they're talking okay. about. Okay. Yep. yep. So you'll be seeing that mm -hmm. splash across your timelines, I'm sure. Yep. Hmm. So that's different, very different, because it, yeah. uh, they did list off um, a number of women directors that definitely could have been in the standing for it. So Interesting. Yeah. Now I need to look up a full list of yeah, films. Yeah, absolutely. With female directors. Female directors. That'll be it. interesting. Okay. Need to see it. Well, we'll be here for the outcome of everything as well. Mm -hmm. You know you can rely on us. <laughs> <laughs> We're here <our> entertainment <laughs> segment here. Yeah. We do have another Eye on Entertainment coming up mm -hmm. later today yeah. in the show, and I'm assuming it'll touch on award season and everything kind of going on. So we'll be taking a look at that a little later, too. Uh, a lot coming up here. Lots of special guests joining us yeah. right here on the couch. But first, your local steals and deals.